got your unicorn horn on yeah <laughs> you know what's funny Izzy actually has almost the exact same hair this morning oh really I wish I had a picture of it um last night before bed she asked me to put her hair up in a, a, a like a top bun because she was feeling mm. like it's just she also she has very similar hair to mm. you she's like hair mm. lube hair and training and um mm. So I put it up on like a top knot on top of her head, kind of like a messy bun. Mm. And it looked so cute that this morning I was like, I'm going to keep that in her hair. And I said, can I keep your hair in that top knot? She said, sure. So I put a scrunchie over it and then I added two little hair clips. It just looked really cute. And your hair is reminding mm. me of that. It's Well, I feel like cute. Australia is the place to do a hairstyle like this. <laughs> It's kind of like a, it's like a beachy. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a generalization that I'm making about Australia, but I feel like I feel like you can do this. You feel welcome guy. there to do that. That's yeah, cool. I can do this, and I I feel like it's still masculine here. You know, it's not They're like not gonna blink an eye. Yeah, no one's like. Ooh. I mean, as far as I know, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> well, maybe we'll find out in the comments after we post this episode from Aussies because. This is our Lou Talks About Australia episode. We're going to hear all about Australia right before he's home because he's he's nearing the end of his time in Australia with Dinosaur Jr. And also popping in some fun solo shows here and there, smattering. Yeah, I played in Perth last night. So you're in Perth still. I'm still in Perth. I just finished a Dinosaur Junior show. It's uh, evening for you. It's late morning for me. Yep, it's almost midnight. I'm almost. Ooh. I'm almost in February 29th, leap mm. day. Oh right. I like leap that. Day. Leap day. Oh, so this episode will be coming out on leap day. Leap day. <gasps> The Australian Leap Day episode for Val. This is for my mom. My mom, sometimes when she's up on the episodes, she'll send me a text and say, you know, whatever, commentary about it. And this most recent message from her was, well, your father and I were wanting to hear more about Australia. And I said, oh, right. So... Yeah. I said, well, what do you want to know? And, uh, and then you said, ask your mom hmm. some questions, like have her come up with some questions. Yeah. What do you um, want to know? I mean, because uh, you and I can just talk about whatever. Yeah. We, wherever, and we often tend to go off the rails and off subject and whatever, wherever we are, we speak. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. And you've actually been, so I'll treat this as more like interviewer style this episode. Hello, oh, I'm Adele Barlow coming to you from Greenfield, Massachusetts, Western Mass. Mm. Mm. And uh, I'm going to be interviewing today my husband, Lou Barlow. He is in Perth, Australia, currently on tour with Dinosaur Jr., mm. celebrating uh, the 30th anniversary of Where You Been. <laughs> How was that? <laughs> and Very good. Very good. Now, you are not new to Australia. You have been here many times. So I feel like these would be um, like your responses would be coming from a place of like having visited quite a few times over your, your adult life, right? From the time you were maybe what, when was the first time you came to Australia? How old were you? Oh, God, don't ask me that. Oh, okay. Well, I was I mean, assuming you in can. your 20s. You, you can. Yes, I was 
Yes. Yes. Like you didn't it only was early. come here in your thirties. No, no, no way. It could it could have it could have been like ninety five. Ninety six. Is the I very first some, time? Oh. Yes, I should have done some research, but yes. Oh wait, yes. were you ever in Australia with Dinosaur Junior before you were kicked out? No. Okay. Oh, that's a funny okay. that's a funny story though. They kicked okay. me out. They kicked me out of the band in 89, and then they went to Australia. Oh, so you missed your first... Okay, well, what have yes, been your first and, tour in Australia? Right, and and I, I I was like, okay, what they told me the band broke up. When they kicked me out, they were like... They came to my apartment, and they said, uh, we're breaking up the band. We're breaking up the band. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay. And then the next thing I knew, I heard that they were going to Australia. <laughs> Well, you know, sometimes was, you got to say what you got to say to just get someone out of the band. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Looking back on it in retrospect, it's like fair enough. But sure. at the time, but they, but I, I found out that they were going to Australia with a new bass player. Ah. And they did. They did. They did. <laughs> right after they kicked me out, they went right to Australia and continued. Hopped the on band. a plane, left your apartment, went <laughs> went straight to the <laughs> they airport. Did. They were like. Hey, Lou, the band's broken up. Uh, what time's you know, our we're, flight? We're, Let's get out of here. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we got to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Funny to think of. Actually, I had a very, I had kind of a really cool, a cool moment tonight uh, when I, w- I was playing, you know, on stage and I looked over, I just was taking in the specter, the, the like Murph and Jay playing in front of me. And, and I had this really, this kind of like real warm feeling tonight and we we were on a carpeted stage which also made it especially warm <laughs> I, w- I, w- I was i was playing in my socks on a carpeted stage huh and i felt like i felt like i was in a rec room mm-hmm. you know and i and i and i had this really really cool feeling that i was in australia with dinosaur jr when they kicked me out of the band and went to Australia. <laughs> I, had this, I had this really, I had this really cool full circle moment tonight. But oh. well, anyway, Australia. Yes, I've been here. I've been here a lot. Yes. Okay. A lot. So should we get to Val's, uh, Valerie's Definitely. questions? Okay. Val, uh, my this is my uh, my mother in law, Valerie Atkinson. Yes. Okay, and she yes. she loves to hear about your travels. Um, yeah. Okay. So the first one has actually kind of multiple questions. So mm. do you get any unusual food down under or does the band food rider change depending on what country you're in when you're at a club or bigger venue? And is there a memorable food experience you've had in Australia? So I guess it's kind of like a three ish part question. Okay. Um, we d- per per country, wherever. But I thought in Europe, you guys always ask for that chocolate milk you like. Yeah, chocolate milk. Or like, what's on the rider what, backstage, what? Australia? Take me backstage. Open up the fridge and show me the table. Tell me what's there. There's roast beef. And there's turkey. Okay. And there's guacamole. And then there's a, a, a I, I don't want to say array, because I feel like I'm saying the word array too much. Hmm. But there's an array of kombucha. A variety there's, there's of kombucha? A, a, oh, God, variety. Thank you. I need this word. <laughs> variety. Array needs to go. <laughs> I'm saying array way too much variety there's a variety of kombucha and cold coffee canned coffee um there is pineapple there is watermelon there is goat yogurt goat yogurt goat milk milk yogurt which jay likes there is uh there is bread like the the sort of like but keto bread the Mm -hmm. You know, Jay makes, he makes toast. He, it seems to be part of his thing. There is, uh, 
Macallan uh, whiskey for Jay. He likes there's he nips a little bit of a sort of scotch, you know, single malt scotch mm-hmm. that he that he likes to sip in the course of of a performance. Um, is there beer yeah. beer so, on the rider? No, there is not beer on the rider. Tonight there was Sauvignon Blanc mm, on the rider, which is what you it like. Just came, which is what I like, but I don't put it on the rider because I don't. I don't generally you drink. don't drink. Yeah, I don't drink when I play. I don't like it, you know. But tonight there was some on the rider, which is kind of cool because it was our last show in Australia, and sometimes I'm a little tired, and sometimes I need a little bump, mm-hmm. you know, and and. Uh, so I, I got a little bump of uh, Sauvignon Blanc, an Australian Sauvignon Blanc. So, But the roast beef in Australia is so good. Mm. And I don't know what, why exactly. Hmm. They, it's, diff- it's different than the roast beef in the States. Do you, have you looked at the package? Like, is the cow from there's australia no, there's no package it's it's just wrapped in paper it was oh, it was so it's purchased like del- in a it's supermarket deli, so it was cut yeah okay. yeah well must yeah and it's must be australian it's good. beef then. no i think it is i think yeah. and then maybe tonight, it's all like tonight tonight I, had, I don't know yeah i don't know hmm. i don't know if they have there's not a lot of grass but there's not a lot of australia. grass yeah yeah, because it's a it's a dry country. It's a sunburned country. Where does As the beef come have, from, Australia? Where does the beef come from? Let us know. <laughs> well, I'll tell you. The interesting thing about Australia is that it's like California. Like they 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 take these places, these arid places, and they transform them. I imagine into agricultural mm. oasis, oases, mm-hmm. oasis. Okay. Oh, oh, I don't oh, know. I do want to know about the coffee. So the canned cold coffee, that's like for Noel, the sound guy, right? And you also like that sometimes, right? Or I, you I, have I, I sometimes. Imbi- I imbibed tonight, but in general, I, in Australia, I like to stick to the ev- – there's so many great cafes here. Yeah. Well, there there's you go. So, so there's many coffee, nice shops. coffee shops there. So many coffee shops w- delivering like really good espresso. Every like even just like little corner shops have big ass fucking espresso machines mm. churning out like really good espresso. And then the beans they get, I don't know what's going on, but uh, it's a less jittery coffee almost uniformly within Australia. So you can get really tasty coffee that doesn't fuck you up. I don't know that what, sounds great. I don't know why, I don't know why that well, is. And not jittery. Yeah, and, and, and in general, it, they really embrace breakfast here. Okay. So there's like breakfast sandwiches everywhere, mm. every little like place, you go, every little cafe. Or a croissant bread, or, or like a, a, a croissant, a bagel, mm. a, like a English muffin, like sourdough bread. There's, a, there's so many, again... Array, a variety, array. Australia makes me think of the word array. So I've I've said the word array <laughs> so many times, but I'm I'm telling you, everywhere I everywhere I go here, and and there's just the place is loaded. Every city that we've been to, the major cities, Adelaide, Perth, Melbourne, Sydney, there is. When you get into the middle of the cities, when you get into the cities, and even outside, it, there's so many like cafes. Mm, that sounds lovely. It's, it's kind of lovely. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And if yeah. they make so many of these breakfast sandwiches, can I ask you, have you partook and are they good? Every breakfast sandwich I've had, whether it be on the street, near the hotel, when I've walked out and I go to the first place that I see, or at the airport, every sandwich is good. Good. When you get you get the egg, the egg will leak the yolk mm. onto the contents of the sandwich. You kind of be careful. It might squirt out. You know, I have to be careful because I don't have that many clothes with me. I don't want to ruin my clothes. So when I eat an Australian breakfast sandwich, 
I give some distance between myself and the sandwich. Do you know what I'm I saying? I sure do. I hold it out. I hold it out at approximately, you know, one foot. Yes. That's smart. From my crotch. That's smart. Yes. I That's do. That's smart I hold eating. it out there. Mm-hmm. You should yeah. really travel with There's like a crop. napkin that you, you know, like one of our cloth napkins from home uh, that you just kind of put over your crotch or, or something. Or a bib. I should have a you bib. Should. A tour, tour bib. bib. Oh. Lose tour bib. I need a bib. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let me say, is there a memorable food experience you've had in Australia? Is it the breakfast sandwich? Sushi. Sushi. Okay. Everywhere. Mm. Any place that we've been so far, right to the sushi. A, there's a lot of like conveyor belt sushi going on, mm-hmm. which I love. Those are restaurants where you sit love- down and it literally comes by you on a conveyor belt, right? And then you grab what you like yeah. and then at the end you pay for kind of like what you've chosen? Or- you, you pay. And, and, they, and they put the, the color of the plate determines the price. Oh, that's so smart. That you sure. pay. Okay. Oh yeah, well they, they, have a system. they do this. Yeah. This is a, and they they do it in California yeah. as well. California and Australia are are sort of spiritually or, you know, food linked. There's a lot of like similarities between Australia and California nice. that I that I yeah. like a lot. That's yeah. cool. Which is, yeah. So, so you've had delicious there's a lot sushi. of really fresh fish and fish in general, cooked fish. That's great. I had a steak tonight. The steak was fucking great. And it was an Irish pub. Mm. It was at like an Irish pub during quiz night. Yeah. Should we move on to the next question? Okay. Please, yes. So they have been watching a show that's filmed in Tasmania Deadlock. Is that in Australia? Okay. Tasmania, yeah. yes, okay. is part of Australia. And yes. she- it's a, it's an island. It's an island south of the continent of Australia. So oh, maybe Deadlock is the name yeah. of the show or something. Anyway, I don't okay. know. But uh, they're yep. they're saying that they, um, you know, have to have subtitles on because the accent is so strong, and their okay. their slang and their dialect. She's they're they're wondering. Okay. Have you noticed that, like, in Australia? Obviously, they have an Australian accent there. But, like, is there certain areas where you hear, like, that stronger in certain parts of Australia versus others? And, like, you know, some cool local slang Hmm. that they say? I I love the Australian accent. But I I haven't really met anyone that I don't understand. Mm -hmm. You know? So, um, but in Tasmania... Perhaps yes, it's a it's an island off the coast of Australia, and there very well could be places there where I mean actually anywhere outside of the cities. I mm-hmm. only go to the cities, so there's there's a lot of suburbs. Um, I do have my friend Adam Harding, and I have met his mother, and she has a very particular and accent. Where is he from? This sort of he's from Geelong, so. They have a really interesting nasally sort of accent. When when they say no, they say mm. nar. But I I've never I mean, when I when I travel in England, every you know every little micro region has a very particular accent that you may yeah. or may not understand. And then when you and then when you get to Scotland, <laughs> it's like whoa, it's yeah. a little more heavy. Yeah. Or you're just like, whoa, you literally, I mean, have to really hang on people's words. Um, I have not encountered that in Australia. That doesn't mean that it doesn't exist, and I'm sure it does. Um, Aussies, you weigh in on all your different accents. Let us know. Can you just talk about the difference between, like, New Zealand and Australia? Since you're going to be leaving Perth and then going to New Zealand... Um, what, what could you say about the two? (laughs) What's it like in New Zealand? Well, in New Zealand, they speak, they speak much tighter, like their lips are tighter. They they speak like in a similar accent, but their, their lips seem tighter. What about uh, also New Zealand just in general? Is it, is it a smaller country? Uh, Mm -hmm. oh, it's way smaller, but we're playing in Auckland which is the North Island, mm. which is very volcanic. 
that's the other thing. It's super volcanic, and there's tons of Earth. I mean, like New Zealand. New Zealand is on the Ring of Fire, so there's a lot of earthquakes, and there's a lot. I mean, there's like a lot of and and Auckland itself is fascinating because it's like full hmm. of these dormant volcanoes. Like these big, and they're like these big green wow, depressions really? within the city. Like there's these round. It's incredible. Like the like family. I've I've been there and like seen. They're these really? big green craters, and but they're, so they're not but they're public parks, you know, anymore. where you they're go just... down into the crater. No, they're they're they've been dormant for a long time, and that's the way they're <laughs> yeah. probably hoping it will stay. But it's a, it's really. It's really, uh, it's a very volatile uh, geological region, you know. I would, l- I would I, love, God, I want to take you here so fucking bad. I mean, Australia like I can't. New Zealand so much, man. Maybe, maybe we have to come up with a solo I think, tour. I, I think where we the, just uh, go for like two weeks with just just a solo tour, and then we have some days off in between. And is Auckland? Like kind of the main big city of New Zealand, and does it have skyscrapers and things like that? Like, is it like you know what I mean? Like a big, big city? Yes. Auckland is like a big, big city. Um, it does have skyscrapers. Uh, the other cities don't. You know, Wellington, Dunedin, Christchurch. Christchurch mm. was like kind of leveled by an earthquake. Um, a few years back, but, uh, yeah, it's like, it's a, because it is volatile and, um, Mm. but beautiful beaches, really interest, interesting stuff. Like just on the coast of New Zealand, this beach with these huge, perfectly round Mm. boulders planted in the sand. And, um, and in, in the west of New Zealand, it's like, you know, snow covered. I like can't even imagine mountains, snow well. covered mountains. You know, like like a like a ridge, a ridge of them. You know, and and it's colder. It's a little colder there. Like New Zealand is. It, it's not. It's so different from Australia. Thank you, everyone. You know, thank you. Thank you, Melbourne. And Andrew at Poison City records for my in-store phoenix central park Mm. beautiful beautiful performance space so beautiful so beautiful thank you so much for reaching out to me so i could play a show there thank you to adem in perth for my show at the rose rosemount hotel that was incredible i could have never expected that many people showing up i had a wonderful show uh oh god yeah thank you for all the good breakfast sandwiches raw impressions <laughs>